Hi, this is Fanny Girl with Tejano Nation, and I'm here at the 2017 Tejano Shootout at the Alba Casino del Sol in Tucson, Arizona. And I'm here with the one and only El Surdo de Oro, Mr. Michael Salgado. How you doing? How do you feel after a great performance? Muy bien, la verdad, pues la gente pues, nos apoyó bastante, muy contento con la con la, la respuesta de la gente, ¿no? Y pues ahí estamos echándole ganas, gracias a todos que, que llegaron esta noche. So before I get into all my questions, Michael, I want to say muchas felicidades. You just got married recently. That's right. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, March 3rd, uh, we got married, me and my wife, uh, Blanca. So, pues, eh, muy contento, ¿no? La verdad que sí. So, Michael, I've always wanted to know, when did you start playing the accordion? I started when I was probably about 12, 13, uh, because my first instrument was the bass. Then I picked up the bajo sexto a little bit. And then I liked the accordion, you know, it was uh, something that kind of drew my attention. So I just kind of stuck with that ever since. So do you remember the first time, the very first time, you were performing in front of a big audience? I think it was actually probably here in, uh, Tucson was one of the places for sure, where we performed out here. And uh, it was probably 95, 96, a great crowd. Another time was, of course, probably one of the first times was in San Antonio, Texas, at the Mission County Park. So, um, yeah. Well, I've uh, been there about 21 years, but... I'm originally from West Texas area, Midland, Odessa, Big Spring, that area. But uh, yeah, now San Antonio is uh, is kind of home for me. And so uh, a lot of great memories from San Antonio. So you've been in the music business for over 20 years now, and you have many, many hits. I mean, I can sit here and name them all, but we're not going to do that. But Cruz de Madera is the one that actually put you in the map. Who came up with the idea of recording this song? Well, actually, one of my cousins, Jose Salgado, who is also a songwriter, uh, who's written a lot of songs like El Muñeco, El Gallo Desplomado, uh, different songs that I've recorded on my albums that have done really well. He brought the idea to me. He said, hey, but, you know, I heard this song, Cruz de Madera, a uh, otro estilo, no? Pero I think if you do it con acordeón, I think it'll work for you. And uh, so we started practicing it and put it together with some material. At the time, I was working on recording a CD. Uh, uh, at the time of the record label in San Antonio. So we put it out there and uh, definitely was was a great result. You know, it's kind of what, lo que me dio a conocer en todos lados, ¿no? El tema de Cruz de Madera todavía una canción que pide bastante la gente. Y pues gracias a Dios, ¿no? Que tenemos ese exitazo de Cruz de Madera. Did you expect the success you have? Not at all, la verdad. You know, we were simply looking for the dream and trying to accomplish the dream. And so uh, it's been a... a a great uh, many years now, 21 years, and you know I've got a new song coming out real soon. Sema, te miro mi copa, from the same writer of Cruz de Madera. So we're hoping that that song, yeah, we're hoping that song has as much much success. Uh, of course, we performed it tonight. People seem to like it, so uh, we're gonna have it out here in the Tucson area real real soon for people to listen to. We're gonna be releasing this week actually. So how do you do it to maintaining the music business? Well, you know, it's just, I think a lot of it is is um, staying consistent as far as recording, you know, coming up with new material that people are going to like. And um, so we try to stay, you know, consistent every six, eight months, uh, releasing a new album. And of course, you know, staying in the public eye, I think that social media uh, plays a big part in that nowadays. Facebook, social, you know, Instagram. Um, I'm pretty much in, involved in, in all That's social media. Yeah, social media. I've got a fan page, Michael Salgado. I've got Instagram, official Michael Salgado. I'm now uh, uh, also on Snapchat under El Surdo Michael, Michael, El Surdo Michael. And of course, Twitter under Michael underscore. So uh, I'm even uh, under Instagram, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, LinkedIn, LinkedIn as well. So I'm in, involved in all the. Uh, uh, and all the different sites, so I think it's that's a plays a big part, you know, because you uh, kind of stay consistent and, and in communication with your fans daily. So 2016 was a super great year for you. I know because I was there for some of it. You won two awards at the Tejano Music Awards, one for Best Male Vocalist and the other one for Best Norteño Album. Yeah, and so, um, yeah, definitely was a great night for me at the Tejano Music Awards. Also was able to accomplish winning the uh, the, the Latin, Grammy Latin Grammy also for 2016. Um, got some great things coming up too. They're going to be giving me a um, uh, a um, 
let me let me uh, remember what it is again. Proclamation and a resolution at the Capitol in Austin uh, on May 2nd. So uh, you know it's going to be a big honor for me at, at the uh, at the Senate at the Capitol, and so looking forward to that as well. So you know start of another great year this year as well and of course um, hoping to release my new album real soon so you had many events throughout your career do you remember one special highlight throughout your music career well you know i mean there's been many many and of course i always remember uh, the first time i won uh the, the Music awards for the album cruz Madera. it's always a memory i'm going to have you know because that was my first award for uh for the song cruz Madera. so that's something that i always you know, always cherish that uh, took place at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Uh, uh, probably was 50,000 people there. So, you know, it was a great, great, great memory for me. So many people compare your music to the living legend, Mr. Ramon Ayala. How does it feel to get compared to such a big name? Well, it feels great. You know, I mean, I, uh, he's a big influence uh, for me, Ramon Ayala, Lucas Cornelio Reina, Eliseo Robles. Uh, these guys, I mean, I grew up with their music and, uh, and pretty much, you know, when I started, uh, I used to play some of their songs. And even now, I, I, I actually recorded probably a couple of years ago, uh, Tragos Amargos as well. And uh, so people like that. But we did that live in San Antonio. But uh, definitely great influences, my respect to the Señor Ayala, you know, Cornelio, que ya no está con nosotros, pero, pues, uh, una, una gran leyenda. Actually, one of my songs that I performed tonight, um, first songs was Que Me Cura La Tristeza de Cornelio. So, you know, I've always included some of his songs in my in my albums throughout the years and uh, because he's a great writer, great artist, and uh, never will be forgotten for sure. So what advice can you give the young talent, such as your son Andres Salgado, that are starting their career in the music industry? Well, I think, you know, uh, for one, you know, you got to be really serious if, if you're going to want to be in the music business. It takes a lot of work takes a lot of self-discipline, you know, and, and más que nada, pues tiene que ver las ganas de, de, de ser un cantante y, y pues ya lo demás viene, ¿no? Lo, lo, lo de la fama, lo, lo del dinero, y, pero, y, y no hay que dejar esas cosas que, que te controlen, ¿no? And let, the, let those things get the better of you. I think it's always important to stay humble and, uh, you know, just, just love what you do and the rest will come. Well, I want to thank you for your time. Muchas gracias. Gracias a ustedes, a, a todos los fans por ahí un saludo, beso un abrazo de parte del sur de Yoro Michael Salgado. Eh. This is Fanny Girl with Tejano Nation. ¿Qué tal amigos? Habla Michael Salgado. Síganme a mi amiga Fanny Girl con Tejano Nation News en nuestra hora con Leti.